Today we're going to talk about oscilloscopes and specifically why these portable scopes for mixing are probably a better option for most people than a traditional kind of scope such as this Rigol. Now I have reviewed both of these scopes on the channel. We have the DS1202ZE here from Rigol and we have the STO1104E from Mixig. Both are available in varying channel configurations, various bandwidths, various memory depths and various sample rates. However, there are some features on these Mixig scopes that you don't find on normal ones and I want to talk about that specifically. Now, as I've already said, I have reviewed both of these and I will put a link to those reviews in the comment section. I also want to just say, if you're interested in getting any of these scopes, there is a link to a dealer in the UK called Talonic Instruments. They are a fantastic test equipment supplier. They have been very kind to us on this channel and we would not have been able to make videos such as this without their support. So if you're interested in getting one of these or anything else, please do check them out. Okay, so to explain some of the benefits of a portable scope like this. Now, as I've already said, you can get these in either two or four channel configurations and all of the other features and specs are all dependent on what model you choose. The big difference is the extra features that you get on a portable scope that you don't traditionally get on a bench type scope. So for instance, the first big one is power supply. Both can be mains powered. However, these portable scopes are also available in a battery option as well. This one I've got here has the built-in battery and it can last for about three hours, which means the scope is fully portable. You can take it out and about, you can use it in the workshop and you don't worry about it having to be tethered when in normal use. Whether you're using it on the bench or out and about, it means that you've got all that functionality that you find on a traditional bench scope, but in a portable platform. There is also another major benefit of having a portable scope with a battery such as this. For instance, it can also be isolated from your mains earth. When both of these are on mains, they are both connected to your mains earth on all of the shielded inputs. What I mean by that is your inputs down here are directly connected to the earth pin, which is directly connected to your mains earth if you have it all plugged in properly. That means it is dangerous to use a traditional scope on working power supplies if you're trying to do some tests without something such as a differential probe. Whilst that is the same for this when it's on mains, when it's on battery though, it is isolated and that means you can use it to test mains power supplies. Now, I do need to be clear on that. You do need to be very careful still because whilst it is isolated from the mains on battery, all of these ports on the top, which are your inputs and your outputs, are still connected to each other and they would all be live if you were working on a live circuit. What I mean by it being isolated is that it is isolated from your mains earth and it's not going to go bang, but it doesn't mean that there still isn't the potential of electric shock. And for absolute safety, you should always be using a differential probe and Mixig actually makes some differential probes as well. And this scope pairs up with them very nicely. Another real nice feature on these scopes from Mixig compared to this, for instance, is that it is fully touchscreen control. Not only does it have all of the standard controls down the side that you will find on this, but it has all of those controls available via touchscreen as well. You can change all of the settings, you can change the menus, but you can even use your finger to adjust things like your trigger point on the screen directly rather than having to use the little control knobs on the side. And it really does get very quick and easy to use it once you get used to having that functionality. Now, one of the reasons this scope has a touchscreen is because it is Android based. It is not running a custom OS like most of these scopes do via their manufacturers. It is running a version of Android. It has eight gigabytes of built-in storage and because it is Android based, it has a lot of the features you've come to expect from a smart device. For instance, you have onboard screen recording, 
onboard screen capture. The ability to use other apps, it's got Ethernet, USB input outputs, and all sorts of other stuff that you would usually find in Android, such as the file management and the controls. And it's just a lot easier and intuitive to use for moving data around on it. For instance, you can do a screen record, save it to the device, and then push that onto a memory stick USB really quickly and easily, or you can take stills and move them around and share them without any problems at all. Now, I will add, most standard scopes do have the option to take screen grabs or shares, but the fact that this is Android-based does make it a lot easier to do that functionality because it's just like a normal tablet in that respect. Now, another feature on this, because it is Android based, is that it does have its own custom app store for Mixig. Whilst this doesn't have thousands of apps on it, like you find from the likes of Google, there are some nice little apps that you can install that allow you to do electronic calculations and other things like that. And again, it just adds some additional value to the product that you wouldn't usually find on a traditional type scope. Another big one for me on this scope is that it has HDMI output. That means I can connect it directly to an external display or into my PC for recording that display for use on the channel. Whether you're someone that wants to be able to actually show people via a large screen, stream that information, or just record it on another device later, it is a really, really handy feature that you don't tend to find on a traditional bench type scope. And it is a godsend if you're making content like I am. Now that is the main differences from a traditional kind of scope like this compared to these portable ones from Mixig. Obviously there is tons of stuff I have not covered in the sense of there are scopes out there with features that you can only get on those and obviously these aren't going to suit you. For this I was talking about whether someone who's looking to buy for the first time, whether looking to upgrade and should consider getting this if it has the features you need compared to that and what the benefits are and that more than anything is the portability and the connectivity. For me, the big one on this is the HDMI output. That is just so handy if you're making content, but also if you want to display that to other users as well. Obviously, the portability is a major factor. That three hours battery life is really good. And you do find yourself using the scope on things that you wouldn't normally bother because it isn't tethered to the desk and you can easily just go and grab it, plug it into whatever you want to check and do the checks and run it on that battery power. There is obviously some benefits to that battery power too on the sense of it's isolated. But again, I do want to be stressing that you do need to be careful. It isn't fully isolated like a differential probe, but it does mean that it is isolated from that mains earth when you don't have the power adapter in. And yes, there are ways of doing that on one of these, which I'm not going to go into. But the fact it is like that out the box is a handy thing as well. Now, that really is it. As I've already said, if you're interested in getting either of these, there is a link to Telonic Instruments in the UK. Massive thank you to them and also a big thank you to Mixig. We would not have been able to make this or the review video without their support on this one as well. If you're interested in it, there are links in the description. Very, very handy and very interesting piece of kit indeed. And if you're looking to get yourself a scope for the field, these are definitely worth a look. Finally, I just want to say if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. And there's also a link to my Discord server if you want to come over and say hello too.